Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first ever World Barefoot Water Ski Championships being held in Australia's national capital, Canberra, the Malongla River. The first ever World Barefoot Championships, these were conceived some 11 years ago. And now, 11 years later, 11 countries participating in the first ever championships. Competitors from Belgium, the USA, New Zealand, Australia, France, the Netherlands, Austria, Great Britain, Ireland, Italy and Germany. 11 countries and it's taken 11 years to stage these finals and over the last four days we've seen some magnificent competition from all the participating nations. I'm very very pleased to be part of the broadcast. My name is Frank Jones and welcome to the first ever World Barefoot Water Ski Championships. And a man who's going to be doing a lot of work throughout the program, catching all of the competitors as they go through their various paces, Ian Turpey. Thank you Frank. Certainly a great day here and a, a beautiful Canberra day they've put on for us. And an air excitement here amongst this rather great crowd. A uh, very colourful spectacle. Bronwyn McCaskill. And Bronwyn's fared very well during the entire tournament. Yes, she's a marvellous little girl, only 12 year old. And here she comes around the bend now. There she is, she's on the ski approaching the course. She's got the um, bar handle and she's planing. There's a neck. Neck one foot, one foot reverse. Here's her teeth. Teeth one foot, one foot reverse. Now she'll go for a toe, she's got a toe up, she's got to let go of that handle, yes, she's let go long enough, now toe reverse, yes, up in the air, now she'll do a one foot, one foot reverse, and she's skiing out, she's not doing anything, there's the hooter goes, so she had a maximum run for Brown one, which yes, is very, very, very good. Very good run. Now, now Bronwyn's coming in for her second run now, Marge. Yes, she's coming round, and the chase bed, here she is, she's stepping off. Now Beautiful she'll, entry. Yes, really nice. She's going down onto a tumble turn. It was a 360 tumble turn. Well done. She's going down to the other one, pulling around. A 180 tumble turn that time. Yes, and there she's for 360, and she's going down again. And that's a 360 tumble turn. That's four tumble turns she's done, and she's going to repeat one to make sure she's being paid for them. Good. So that, that was, was a wonderful little run, run by Robert McCaskill. Robert. Really terrific. Brahman, I'd say, will score, all in all, about 815 points that should score her. This will be Martha Hill from New Zealand, and in the last uh, round, Martha scored 465 points. She's getting ready to step off now, her foot's in the water, and she's planning the next, uh, she's done one neck, one foot reverse, one foot uh, again, now she's putting it in the teeth, teeth, teeth one foot, uh, now she's going for a toe, and she's got to let go of that bar, yes, she scored a toe, now a toe reverse, Yes, she's got the toe reverse, and I, I think she fell. She yes, did. did. Yes. So therefore, she would have got, I think, two necks, two teeth, and a toe, and a toe reverse. Right. Here comes Marge's second run yes, now. Yes. So she's we'll look just for rounding it. the corner, coming up now. They do, do give the uh, boat driver a speed, and the driver must maintain that speed by the time he enters the buoy. Right. Here she is. Down now. Free boarding being chased along by the chase boat, her foot's in and she's on the water. And there she is, she's going to go down for a tumble turn, that's a 360 tumble turn. Now she'll do the reverse, they must go on their reverse shoulder and turn the opposite way. Now that is a non-score, because she hasn't done a clean movement. Even though she got up, she can attempt a 180, but there yes, she's going to go and do a 180. That was a half turn, and now she'll go for another one. But the hooter has gone. gone so she wouldn't have got no, scored for that last one. She won't get scored for that one. They right. must complete a trick before the hooter. Colleen Wilkinson coming back now for her second run. Colleen from Australia. A very good first run, March. Yes, she had a very, very good run. She'll be going into the course any moment now. She's turning around backwards. You ah. can see she's going to do a backwards entry. She's turned around backwards on the ski. She'll do a backwards, yes, she's looking for the boat, she's looking for the boy, she's got one foot in the water, and she's going to do, yes, there she is, she's backwards. Very neat entry. One foot, one foot reverse, and now she's, now, that is, they're both very good, she's in a 180, and no, she missed it, but she's going to recover by a tumble turn, and that's fantastic Beautiful strength. Beautiful skiing. And she's doing another tumble turn, good on you, Colleen, fantastic, she got a turn, look how happy she is. She's very, very happy that with that That is fantastic. Run. Colleen Wilkinson from Australia. Yes. Oh, look at the way she's swimming. 
Well, we certainly have a, a bumper crowd here at the Malongola River for the first ever World Barefoot Water Ski Championships in the women's division trick method. Colleen Wilkinson, the second competitor from Australia, made a very unusual entry for her second run. To find out more about it, it's down at the VIP area, Ian Turpey. Thank you, Frank. A very elated and a very short Colleen Wilkinson here, who just became the first girl ever to enter the, uh, the trick run backwards. How did you feel about that? Oh, I was a little bit nervous and I hesitated a little while whether I would come in backwards or not, but I thought, what the heck, I might as well have a go. And it paid off, so... Yeah. <laughs> would you call that a perfect run? Uh, no, I could have done better, but I'm still very, very pleased with it. It's um, probably going to give me the overall title, which is what I was after anyway. So. You've been Australian champion now for, what, three years? Four years? No, I've been Australian champion for the past seven years. One seven? One year a junior girl and six as a woman. Ah. So, I've been around for a long while. <laughs> how old are you now, may we ask? 22. 22. And you've been skiing for how long? Uh, since I was 10. Fantastic. It was a magnificent run and uh, almost fault free from up here. And the first girl ever to enter the water backwards in the, uh, in the tricks division. And I'd say you should take it out, Colleen. Many, many thanks for talking to us. Thank you. And here we have Jan Morgan. Jan Morgan has started already with a neck. Neck one foot. Neck one foot reverse. Now she's going for her teeth. Teeth, she hasn't let go yet. One foot, one foot reverse. That was quick. Here she goes. A toe and a toe reverse. Yes, she's got both of those two, I would say. Now she'll be doing a one foot and one foot reverse. And she's doing a tumble. Tumble. Yes. And I think the hooter went. We don't know whether she scored or not on that last tumble. Right, Gillian Shipp is our next competitor from Australia making her second run in the women's, women's division trick method march. She had a very good first run, but we'll take the second run as the boat brings her down to the course proper. Yes, she ha really had a very good first run. Would have been maximum tricks. And here she is, she's entering the course. And Gillian comes in in a forward position. She's rounding the buoy. She'll put her foot in any moment to step off. Yes, there's her foot going in and she's planning. She's going down for a tumble turn, and that's a 360 tumble turn, and she's on her feet. Doing the reverse 360 tumble turn, and she's up again. Wonderful. Now she's doing a 180, and a good 180, and this is the next 180. And if she gets this, wonderful. And that girl has scored about one foot, a one foot reverse she put in. That would be, look at how happy she's she is. She's a very happy girl. Yes. That would be the winning run you've just seen. If she's been paid for all those, it would be a total of 835 points, which is an Australian record, and which would be, I'd say, a world record if she's paid for it. Gillian Ship, competitor number seven from Australia. Gillian Ship, we have here. All the way from Sydney, Gillian. Yes. That was a great run. Thank you Excellent. very much. How do you feel? <sighs> Exhausted. Are you? <laughs> Why? Are you pleased with your run? Oh, very pleased. Can you describe some of the finer points to us? Um, well, in my first run in the preliminaries, uh, I rushed it a bit and I didn't get paid for many of my tricks. Yeah. So I decided that I'm not going to go very well unless I slow it down, so I slowed it down. But it was worth it. I got it all in. It was an excellent run. How do you like the weather at the moment? It's not a terribly nice day, is it? No, it's pretty good for skiing. No, you don't want it too hot, but then uh, you don't want it cold. It was freezing yesterday. Was it? Warmer yeah. today? Well, we're very, very pleased with your run, Gillian, and we wish you all the very best of luck in the slalom. That's you right, yes. Lovely. Gillian Ship from uh, Sydney, Australia. Thank you very much. Right, now we're going through with Jan Morgan's second run. She's done very, very well up until the, at this point, She's tumble. done two tumble turns, and she's done a third tumble turn, but on her third tumble turn, she lost the handle. But I do think she would still be pleased with that run because she had a very, very good front run and she did her two tumbles and I think that would possibly be her maximum that she can score, which will be possibly in this, be in the 700 mark when the judges score her. Jan Morgans from New Zealand came to a bit of a grief there, love, just at the very end of it. Oh, well, it's a 360 tumble turn reverse that I've never done in competition anyway. Oh, really? So, so you got to that? If I'd done that, I would have been right. Yeah, well, you <laughs> certainly would have stood up. Yeah, and uh, any other faults in the run that you can remember? No, that was my best. I hope if I got paid for everything, I did everything I could do. Really? So Excellent. Can't and, um, what is the maximum point score you could, you could possibly make out of the two, uh, two 20 second runs? Well, if, without a backwards run, uh, well, I think most any woman has done is about 835. And what's your best? 
675. 675, and that would be today? Yeah, I hope so. Yeah. Jan was just saying that we never catch them at their prettiest, but I'd say she looks great at the moment, flush in the cheeks. She's not feeling the cold at all. We're coming into the first division of the men's jump final. Now, when you consider that these boys will be hitting that jump, which is down in front of our commentary position, at in excess of 40 miles an hour. Now, just to go through that uh, course for you, the skiers must be barefooting as they enter the course proper, which is through the two opening boys. They go straight down over the jump, and you're considering that they're doing that in, a, in excess of 40 miles an hour, and uh, it's a very slippery surface. They go over the jump, hopefully still come down on their feet, and they must barefoot out of the course. Now, this is the first competitor for the men's jump, Bob Bremen from the USA. Ray, as he comes into the course proper. Yes. He stepped off, he's on his feet, he's approaching the jump. A nice, safe jump, but unfortunately, uh, Frank, he, um, he crashed. Bob Benman from the USA coming in now for his second jump in the final of the men's barefoot jump. Ray entering the course. He just stepped off his ski. He must be barefooting by one of those boys back there. He's coming down on the jump. It's a nice jump. Oh, very, very neat. Beautiful. Don't think a lot of distance, Frank, but a very nice, safe jump. Bob Benman from the USA. That was his second jump in the men's final of the barefoot jump. Competitor number two. In the men's jump, Philip Gravner from Belgium making his first run. Well, here comes Philip. Just stepping off his ski, a nice step up. Keeps his feet a little wider than the competitor we saw earlier. Oh, he got a little bit off centre there. His left foot entered the water in front of his right foot. He got a little off balance and um, couldn't ride out, Frank. It's unfortunate for our competitor from Belgium. That was his first jump and has indicated that he's quite OK. Philip Graveno from Belgium now making his second run. Yes, he's got his left foot in the water, a very, very quick step up from Philip, but I think he's increased the boat speed a little this time. He's got in a much for oh and well, that competitor, uh, Frank, entered the water with one foot in advance of the other. It's reasonably difficult to ride that sort of a, a landing out. Lost his helmet in the fall, but he seems A-OK. -okay. He's swimming back to it. Philip Gravner from, from Belgium. That was his second jump in the men's final of the World Barefoot Titles here at Canberra. This right, is Robin. John Bow from the Netherlands making his first run. Ray? Yes, well, here comes John now. He steps off nicely. He's got his feet very widely spaced apart, very wide. He's brought them together now as he approaches the jump. Good position, a little bit of a spring off the top and a magnificent jump, really, Frank. Yes, a that good jump. should be a good distance. Um, I think probably the longest jump we've seen so far. That was the first run from John Bow from the Netherlands, the third competitor in the men's barefoot jump final. They are awarded form for landing cleanly on their feet as against landing on their backside. Jan Bow from the Netherlands making his second run, Ray. Already he's on his bare feet. He steps off very early, this gentleman. He's in a nice position, and, and I'm sure we'll see all oh, a nice beautiful spring jump. Off the jump. Magnificent jump. Well, I think he'd be very happy with those two jumps. I think he would be. Competitor number three in the men's final barefoot jump, Jan Bow from the Netherlands. He landed nicely on his feet, so there should be a, a bonus for uh, form. Competitor number four in the men's final jump, jump. Mike Botti from the USA making his approach to the course proper. And here comes Frank, a nice, quick, easy step off. He's probably got the boat travelling a little slower than the gentleman from the Netherlands we saw earlier. Spring, oh, well, unfortunately, he uh, sprung uh, to get a little bit of extra height, which of course gives you greater distance. Landed uh, without his weight behind his feet and unfortunately tumbled forwards, but he's OK. Mike from the USA making his second run, coming into the course proper now. He had a very, very first, uh, good first jump, but unfortunately he did take the tumble. Ray coming to the course proper now. Yes, Mike stepped off. I think he's got the boat speed increased a little. He's a spectacular man, this fellow. Oh, oh beautiful jump. Nice. And very skiing neat. out. 
and uh, <laughs> just to impress everybody, he does a complete turn and skis out backwards out of the course. That was the second run from Mike Boddy of the USA. That was magnificent, just to throw it in. He must be feeling good with those jumps. <laughs> All right. Right, with me now is Jan Bo, all the way from the Netherlands, who just made two absolutely perfect jumps. The first one of what, Jan, about ten and a half metres? Ten and a half metres, yeah. And the second one was even better, 12 points. 12 points. I don't know exactly what I I think it was about 12.7, was it, the second one? Yeah, I think so. But great. You were very, very happy with it? Uh, absolutely, yes, but I hope it is a feet to feet, but uh, I don't know uh, exactly of the judge's uh, pain meter for the feet to feet. Oh, that's right. We must explain. There is a bonus if you, uh, yeah. if you come off the jump and land on your feet without touching any other part of your anatomy. 30% 30 bonus. 30 points? 30%. Oh. When you jump 10 meters, oh, yes. you've got the bonus, you jump 13 meters. Ah, right. Yeah. Excellent. Well, you were happy with it? Um, it just jumped the last years. Yeah? Yeah. And are you happy with the uh, championships the way they're being run at the moment? Yeah, absolutely. It's a fine uh, country and it is a fine... Um, it's most... Uh, most... Uh, what should I say? <laughs> Enjoyable? <laughs> yeah, it is absolutely uh, fine water and uh, the people uh, here in Australia are very nice for us. Thank you. And you're a great ambassador for your country too. Thank you, Jan. Jan Bo from the Netherlands. The third competitor from the USA is William Farrell making his first approach to the uh, jump final. Thank you, Frank. Well, that was a spectacular step off. Uh, Travelling quite fast. He's down very, very low on a magnificent jump, but unfortunately... William couldn't hold it. Um, he would lose some points on form had he have landed that jump, uh, Frank, because uh, although he would have scored his correct distance, uh, if a jumper lands cleanly on his feet and barefoots away nicely, he gets a 30% bonus added to his length. William Farrell from the USA now making his second approach for his second jump in the men's final. Well, we saw a spectacular step off from um, William Farrell from the USA. Just uh, he done it again for us then. Just limbering up a little bit. And, uh, a nice safe jump. Not a great deal of difference, Frank, but a nice safe jump. A score on the board for William Farrell. Peter Flugel from Austria making his first approach to the jump. Yes, Peter stepped up very cleanly. He's on the jump already. And a nice, neat jump. And skied out. Skied out nicely. Peter, in the earlier score, preliminary round, uh, had a jump of 12.09. Speaking with Ian Turpey, William Farrell from the USA. Yeah, a perfect three-point landing there, William. Uh, a very safe jump. Yeah, I was doing it for the team overall. First time I tried to bust it, couldn't quite hold on to the rope, got too much slack in there. I don't know, I didn't concentrate enough on the second jump. Should have gone for it. Well, it was a safe jump, and uh, as you say, it's got the points on the board rather right. than missing out completely. Right. Did you get a, a length on that one? No, I believe it's about 10 metres something. I oh. did a conservative, though, yeah. in the interest of the team. And no bruises, Matt? No, no. Uh, not quite. Never. You'll be able to sit down tonight? Yeah, I feel good about it. I'm looking forward to tonight. Yeah, I'll bet you are. The Thank closing you, ceremonies. Thank Great. you. William Farrell from the States. Peter Flugel from Austria now making his second approach and jump. Yes, Very well, uh, Frank, Peter has a nice relaxed style. He's scored a nice safe jump on his first one. He probably gave a little extra distance on this one, and he, I think he's done that. It was a nice safe landing and uh, probably another uh, foot or two on um, his first jump. Good jumping now from Peter. Competitor number seven in the men's division jump final round, Grant Allen, the first competitor from New Zealand. Yes, well, our New Zealand... Uh, Contestants are really a force to be reckoned with. A nice quick step off from Grant. He gets down low on the water, this boy, and he's onto the jump now. And a nice beautiful landing. jump. Beautiful jump. Yes. From Grant Allen. Peter Flugel, the Austrian barefoot skiing champion. And out here in beautiful warm water, as he so remarkably puts it. How do you feel, Peter? Oh, very well. I'm so glad to be here. <laughs> and I enjoy it very much because uh, all the people are very friendly and uh, they help us in Europe a lot, the Australians, to do this nice sport. Good on you. And when do you look like returning home to Austria? Oh, I stay a few uh, days more here and I want to see a bit of the country and uh, uh, a lot of people invited me and I'm uh, uh, not sure that I can uh, visit everyone. <laughs> well, that's great. You, uh, you just did two fairly good jumps. Were you happy with them? Yes, I'm very happy with the first one. It was a nice feet-to-feet -feet one and so I tried full power in the second one and want to give my best, but I sit on the bottom and so I <laughs> get not a feet-to-feet -feet one. <laughs> right. Well, we're waiting now for Grant's second jump from New Zealand. Grant Allen, 
And uh, Peter, thank you very much for taking time to talk to us. Thank you. Good luck. Grant Allen from New Zealand now coming in for his second jump. Must have been very pleased with the first one, Ray Cooper. Yes, he would have been pleased with the first one. The technique uh, is usually to get a safe landing, a score on the board, and then go for a little distance, which he's probably doing. Yes, and he's done it. That's a nice longer jump than his first one. Good jumping from our New Zealand uh, competitors, uh, Grant Allen. Ray, on the screen at the moment we do have the jump mechanism. Could you explain to us how it actually functions? Well, they're the jump meter readers, Frank. Uh, there's uh, three banks of two um, spaced along the bank. Each has a reader who positions the sights. It's like a gun sight onto this spot where he or she considers the skier has landed. Uh, the bottom part of the gun sight arrangement is a protractor which reads off in angles in degrees and that is transmitted back to a baseboard and um, by a series of triangulation the exact distance of the jump is worked out very accurately. So you have three points for the recording of the jump? That's right, with two meter readers uh, on each point so that you're, you've got a double check on each particular point on exactly where that particular meter stand considers that jumper has landed. Coming into screen now from Great Britain, the first competitor from Great Britain, the men's final, Jackie Crawford, contestant number eight. Well, Jackie has swooped across the wash. He's on his bare feet, skiing very nicely. Down quite in a good position and uh, a nice landing. He dipped his rear end yeah, in the water. Just <laughs> marginally, though. It just sort of dipped in, but it wasn't a bad first effort. First jump from Jackie Crawford of Great Britain. Well, Jackie got a nice safe one on the board, dipped his rear end in uh, as he went across the, um, the jump and lost very the... Very wide there. He did have his feet very wide. He brought them in now and he's done oh, the same the performance yeah. as on the first jump. Frank, uh, as you say, a nice safe jump, but good jumping now. 13.13 was his score in the preliminary round and I would think he'd be round about that distance again. Well, jumping very safely and uh, keeping the points on the board for Great Britain. Jackie Crawford, contestant number eight in the men's division jump final. Greg Rees from Australia making his first appearance at the jump, making his first jump proper. He's a great jumper, this guy, Frank. Skiing down very safely, very comfortably, and um, over the jump for a nice jump. Uh, a messy landing, of course, <laughs> on his back, but that's the way they do it. And um, it's recorded as a jump for Greg Rees without the bonus for form for landing on his feet. Greg Rees from Australia, one of the three Australian team members, coming in now for his second jump. Well, Frank, Greg has everything to gain uh, on this jump. We should see a spectacular one. He's got a safe points on the board, and look at this boy go. And Beautiful oh, jump. Oh, and what bad, bad, bad oh. luck. Magnificent jump from Greg, but he didn't hold onto the rope, and the name of the game is to hang on and ski out, and unfortunately, he missed. What happens at that point? How has he scored? Uh, he must ski out past that rod out boy. Uh, it would be a judging decision purely as to whether he was actually barefooting by the time he got to that right out boy. I'll await the judge's decision with interest. I'm sure Greg will be awaiting their decision as well. The previous jumper to Greg was Jackie Crawford, the only competitor from Great Britain. He's now talking with Ian Turpey. Thank you, Frank. Jackie Crawford here he is, a, a very lucky Irishman who just made two beautiful three-point landings on both his jumps. <laughs> is that right? Were you happy enough, Jackie? Yeah, I was, uh, was fairly confident that it would land all right, but uh, the first jump was uh, bottom down, yeah. then stood up. The second one, I think, might have been a feet to feet, but it was a very shallow jump, so uh, it's up to the three judges to, uh, to score it. But apart from that, you're quite happy enough with the, uh, your team score? Oh yes, we've done very well. We've got two people in the finals. I'm in the jump and uh, Mike Thomas is in the uh, start methods. Yeah. So, uh, I was just for the best, you know. Yeah, I was just about to tell the people about your the luck of the Irish in winning that ski that was raffled here yesterday. Oh yeah. There have to be an Irishman that won it. A barefoot Irishman at that. Jackie, you've been a great uh, ambassador for the Irish and yeah. the British out here. Yes, and I'll be back. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we really enjoy your company. Thanks, Thanks Jackie. Thanks. Very much. Brett Wing is the uh, second Australian contender entering the course proper now. Brett was just having a look back there. I'm not quite sure what for, but there's tremendous pressure on Brett. He's down to number three in the list. Magnificent Beautiful jump. Beautiful jump. Absolutely. Perfect jump. 
and the uh, control tower has just gone mad up here because I have Brett's mother sitting just, well, was sitting next to me. She's now sitting on the roof. Uh, but a very, very elated mother for a very, uh, very good jump from son Brett. Brett Wing is now coming in for a rerun. He has been granted a rerun on his second jump. He's entering the course proper now, coming up to the jump. Very good position. He's down, but I think he's, yes, he's taken a fall, but he's indicated that all is okay. John Guthrie is from New Zealand, and uh, he's the second competitor from New Zealand, making his first approach for his first jump in the men's final. Thank you, Frank. Well, the New Zealand competitors have really improved their barefooting performance in the last couple of years, and John Guthrie is now a Oh, beautiful. Nice safe... Feet to feet. Beautiful jump, and of course, a maximum score for landing on his feet and skiing away beautifully and cleanly. John Guthrie made a very good uh, exit to the jump on the first time round, now approaching the course for the second jump. Thank you, Frank. Yes, um, John has everything to gain from pulling out all the stops and really going for the drop on this run, which oh. he's done. A brilliant jump. Very, very nice and clean. Maximum bonus points for form. And um, a potential winner, I would think, in John Guthrie. Yes, he certainly made two clean entries into the water and looking for those big bonus points, which certainly count, because if you come off the jump and on your feet, barefooting out, barefooting out, I should say, to the uh, to the end boy, you will pick up those 30% extra bonus points. And that's what they're looking for in the men's jump final here at the World Barefoot Titles in Canberra. Greg Adams is the final competitor from Australia in the men's barefoot jump and coming to the course proper, Ray. Well, Greg was just hammering his helmet on there to make sure it was uh, a tight fit. He stepped off very, very late. Plainly. Uh, he's approaching the jump. Oh, beautiful to get some extra, get some extra height, and of course, that uh, with that goes distance. Not quite as good uh, as I thought Greg should do, actually, to be the first place getter in the um, preliminary division, but still a nice safe jump with one to go from Greg. Certainly was. We'll see his second jump shortly, but the previous jumper to Greg was John Guthrie from New Zealand, now talking with Ian Turpey. Yeah, John Guthrie made uh, two perfect jumps. You got the feet-to-feet -feet bonus both times, I think, John? Yes, I'd say pretty sure of it. Yeah, the first one was 9-2-5, I think, and the second one was 10-2. Yeah, 10-4, I think. 10-4? Yeah. Well, mate, you're doing really well. How do you feel you'll go? Oh, well, I think I might have, uh, just watching that last Last jump slipped back into third place. <laughs> I don't know. I but, don't know uh, about that. Could have used a little bit more distance, I think. Do you feel but, so? Uh, you have overall uh, the overall say in the speed of the boat. Yes. Well, um, the terminal velocity is 67 kilometres. Is it? Yeah, that's the maximum speed you can call. And did you call it? I asked for 67 miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> and didn't get it. No, I reckon it felt a bit slow. Well, John, we wish you luck. And if, as you say, you're coming third, it's a great uh, a great thrill for all of us here. No, and uh, getting quite exciting. John Guthrie, the oh, New Zealand. Well, National champion, who's just done two beautiful jumps, nine, four, and ten four. I think they were. Good on you, John. All the best. Well, Ray, I think it goes without saying the Australians have certainly put up uh, some excellent competition in the men's final. Greg Adams now making his second jump for the final. Yes, well, Greg stepped up very, very late. He had me worried here um, on that first jump, but he's oh, an absolutely magnificent beautiful jump on finish. that second one. Really, really top world-class jumping from Greg Adams. I think Greg would be uh, delighted with those two jumps because there were two complete clean entries to him. Uh, so I think the Australians are looking pretty good for the overall team prize. Uh, but we'll have to wait on the judges' decision to find out who's taken out the top spot. And that's the champion world barefoot jumper for 1978. The first ever world barefoot titles being held here in Australia. With me now is Greg Adams, who uh, looks at this moment like being the unofficial winner, at least, we've just heard. Uh, Brett Wing just had a, a rerun of his second jump and failed that one. And uh, Greg, you jumped 11-4 in the first, and we all felt the second one was equal, weak, equal to, or not, if not past it. What did you feel? Uh, they felt pretty good. Uh, um, I've jumped about the biggest I've jumped, I think. Uh, I bummed the second one, but uh, <laughs> excuse the expression. Yeah, right. But uh, I don't, I don't think the second one would have been quite as big. No. So with the 30% uh, bonus on the first jump, uh, I'd say you've just about romped it in. Yeah, I've felt pretty good. Yeah, yeah. good on you. That's well, Greg, all the very best. You got the slalom to go to Savo. Yeah. All right. Wish you all the best in that and the tricks. Right. Thank you. There he is, Greg Adams, ladies and gentlemen. Who looks like uh, having pulled it all off. We're now coming into the women's wake slalom grand final. Lillian Lachanteur from France is our first competitor, Marge Shripton. And Lillian is putting her foot in the water, getting ready to step off, and there it is, a good step off. And here she comes across, it's a two foot crossing. She's across for one. And here she is, she's starting to go back, having a bit of trouble there. 
and she's still having trouble with that wash. She's going across, she's across for two, she nearly went then. She's pulling very hard and it's a lot of spray coming up and she's fallen. I thought she had a little bit of trouble there but she still um, would have scored in that event which is the main thing but not as good as she did in the previous um, event. Martha Hill is the first New Zealand contender in the women's division way slalom, now coming into the course proper. And here's and Martha, getting ready to step off. Mm. She's got one foot in, good step off, a lovely spray, and she's going across, so that's a half across. She's doing two feet, this is across for one and a half now. She's coming across for her second one. She's having trouble, she's pulling pretty hard. There she's across for three, and she's going across for four. Now back again for her fifth, these are all two foot crossings and she's more or less um, in the water there. Jan Morgans is the second New Zealand competitor coming into the course proper now for the her first run in the women's division wake slalom. There's Jan stepping up, she's beautiful quick step up, she's on two, she's done one crossing already, she's coming across for her second one. She's going up on a two feet again for her third, coming back for her fourth, all two feeders going across for her fifth and she's coming back for her sixth and she fell but that would still score her um, roughly about 150 if she was paid for all them to 180. Jan Morgan from score. New Zealand making her attempt in the final of the women's Div division wake slalom. Jean Matheson from the USA she's on her third crossing I would say and she's pulling across these are all two feet crossings going across for four and uh, she's pulling very hard but doing very nicely. She's going across for five, five and a half. And she's, I'd say she got six there. Must very, yes. yes, there goes the hooter then. So the very there. close to a six cross for Jean Matheson. Gillian Ship from Australia. And Gillian already has the title of uh, women's trick And Gillian gear. has stepped up very, very nicely. She's doing one crossing. These are two feeders. She's going across for second. Moving very fastly and looking very good. That's her third. Going across to her for her fourth. She may have just bounced a little bit there, but she's going across to five. Going across for six. And she went in the water. But I think one of those crossings, she may have sat down, and she will not be credited with that pass if she did sit down. But still a very good run there from Gillian Ship of Australia, one of the three team members from Australia competing in the women's division Wake Slalom Grand Final here at the first World Barefoot Water Ski Championships. Bronwyn McCaskill, who's uh, fared very, very well at these championships for 1978, coming in for her run in the wake slalom. And there goes Bronwyn. She's stepping off very, very nicely. And she's across for one, and she's moving. She she's doing one moving. foot. And there it is. That's another one-footer. That's three. And that's a one-foot up clear in the air. Very high. She's going across for a two-footer on this side. And another one-footer up very, very high. So that is um, four crosses. It's crossed for a two-footer on that side. And there's the hooter. But I think she would get at least um, four, I'd say, two-footers, and perhaps a one, three one-footers, which is a very high score. I think Bromwyn's very, very happy by the look of those hands as they went into the air to indicate that she's quite OK after that run, but a very, very exciting one for Bromwyn McCaskill of Australia with an excellent run in the women's division wake slalom. Colleen Wilkinson, the final contender from Australia, making a reverse entry once again, and Colleen is currently Australian women's champion, a title which she's held for the last six years. And there goes Colleen in a backwards position. Mm. She's just stepped off very, very Beautiful. nicely. She's doing two feet, that's one. She's going across for her second one. All two feeders coming across for three in a very good position. Going across now for her fourth, fourth crossing, and I'd say there's a lot of spray there, but no, she's coming she's across for there. five, and she's going across for six, and I think she will get six two feeders there. Really a fantastic Excellent score, skiing. and you'll see her shaking her hands. Mm. Beautiful. We're about to witness the Blue Ribbon event, the Men's Division Tricks Final, and it should be a great, great day here for the World Championship Barefoot Skiing. Coming into the final for the men's tricks and to help me out on this particular event, Greg Shripton. Greg? Yes, and here comes Dirk. Looks like he's going to do a jump out of two here. Yes, beautiful jump out of two. Going into some tumble turns. One tumble turn, two tumble turns. Going down for another one, a 180 degree tumble turn. Down for a 180 reverse tumble turn. He's up for a, a rope and toe there and a rope on toe reverse. Going for a one. Oh, he's taken a bit of a fall there. 
But not a bad first run. No, he's pretty good for um, out there in Belgium. He's going real well. Dirk Vogel from Belgium, the first competitor in the men's tricks, now making his second run, coming to the course proper now. Yes, Dirk's in a forward position. Some skiers do come in backwards, but Dirk looks in a forward position. Steps off his ski, in for a rope and neck. A rope and neck, one foot, and a one foot reverse. Both in teeth, doing that well. And there's a rope in teeth, one foot, and there's both in teeth, one foot reverse. He's uh, tried a front to back, but he's had a fall there. Mike Siepel is the second competitor in the men's tricks final. Mike Siepel from the USA. Greg, now yes, coming Mike's to the course. Yes, reverse. Mike's coming in backwards here. He's doing his backwards run first. He's one foot in the water. He's stepping off there. Very clean entry. Yes. One foot, one foot reverse. So backwards rope on toe. He recovers from that well. There's a backwards rope on toe reverse. He's very steady there. Going for a line step over. Yes, yes. Oh, he's had a fall. Mike Siepel now coming in for his second run, and by the looks of things, he's going to do another reverse run, Greg. Yes, it looks like he's coming in backwards. Probably start off with a 180-degree turn, and then go into his forward tricks. Oh, he's just coming down to the course proper now. He's got a good stance coming into the into the course. Yes, inside the white wake here. He stepped off backwards. He's about to do a 180 degree turn. Yes, a beautiful 180 degree turn. Into some tumble turns. A 180 degree tumble. Having a bit of trouble. Down for a reverse 180 tumble. Into a 360 tumble turn. Very good. And a reverse 360 tumble turn. He's up waving for more speed there. He's up for a rope and toe. And a rope on toe reverse. Having a bit of trouble. And his time's out there before he gets yeah. into these rope and teeth tricks. The second competitor from Belgium in the men's tricks is Guy Speltorden coming into the course proper now. Greg? Yes, he's coming in forwards front here. St stepping off well into the course. Down, straight down for tumble turns. Just one, 360 degree tumble. There's a reverse 360 degree tumble. There's a 180 degree tumble turn. And a 180 degree tumble turn reverse. Taking his time. He's up for a rope on toe. It's very difficult to see, but I think he did get it. Right, yes. He's in for a reverse there. It's a bit hard to tell. There's yeah, a lot of water. With the back there. He's probably doing a couple of one-foots there. Just throw them in. Extra points and that. The second competitor from Belgium in the final of the men's tricks, Guy Speltdorden from Belgium. Actually, it's uh, we have three judges in the boat. No, I think there's four. Four, four in this. maybe five now. Give the, put an extra t uh, judge or so in the boat for the titles. Those uh, boats will be doing a mammoth job because they're carrying a lot of people. Oh, yeah. Very plus the skier at the yes. uh, speeds that he requires. This is the second competitor from Belgium, Guy Speltdorden. Now making the turn. And he's turned. This guy's put one foot into the water to step off backwards here. He's steady footing back. Yes, he's gone. He's up for one foot and one foot reverse and a rope on toe. Covers well. He's going up for a rope on toe reverse. I might do a 180 degree turn here. Yes. Oh, oh he lost it. Lost the bar. I'm too happy with that. <laughs> I don't think Guy was terribly happy with that uh, final crash into the water. Approximate points, do you think? Um, up near the, uh, probably 1,100 for those, those points. The second competitor, competitor in the men's tricks final, Mike Siepel from the USA, speaking now with Ian Turpy. Mike, pretty good run? Uh, I feel it's a fairly good run. I had to stay faster in the second part of my run, and I could feel I could have fit a couple more tricks in if that was, wasn't the case. Yeah. Um, you were happy enough with the first run down downstream. Uh, we noticed you skied for about another two or three hundred yards after the siren went. Were you trying to get some more points there? Yeah, no, I was going to go and ask him why I had to stay faster. Was... Right, hang on. We've got another competitor behind us. Frank? Vaughan Cox from New Zealand coming into yes, the course. In the middle of his run, he's doing rope on toe here. Down for some tumble turns, up for 360. Down for a 360 reverse. Goes a 180 degree tumble turn. He's up. Down for a 180 degree reverse. He's down there. He's doing a couple of one foots there. One foot, one foot reverse. Through the spray, he could be doing a couple of neck sweeps. 
But a very good first run there for the first competitor from New Zealand, Vaughan Cox. I think he'll be very happy with that. The boat will take him back down to the other end of the river where he'll return for his second run. Let's go back to uh, Ian Turpey speaking with Mike Siepel from the USA. Right, Mark's just told me that he's only 18. Not bad. How long have you been barefooting, Mark? I've been barefooting for eight years, but in Wisconsin you only barefoot for three months out of the year, so that totals to two years total. You yeah. Know? And are you really enjoying yourself out here in Australia? I'm enjoying it very much. It's really a nice run tournament, I feel. There's some talk that the uh, next World Championships might be held in, in the States in about two years' time. Will you look forward to that? Yeah, really. I'll really work hard, see if I can make it there also. Yeah, good. You've had a good flight out on Qantas? Yeah, good, but long. Yeah, it's a long way out here, mate. It's a long way back, too. Thanks for talking to us, Mike. Thank you very much. See you later on. Mike Siepel. Vaughan Cox from New Zealand, the first competitor from New Zealand in the men's tricks final. He looks like he's going to do a reverse for his second run. Yes. He's turning around backwards on his ski. He's waving the boat up there for more speed. What speed would he be doing, Greg? About 38 mile an hour. He's put one foot in the water. It would be up to 40 mile an hour here. Uh, for one foot. For one foot reverse backwards. Bit of trouble there. Going for rope on toe backwards. Yes. It's very tough as well. Going for a rope on toe reverse. It's a bit whoppy there. Goes for 180. He's lost oh, it. Just bar pulled out of his hand there. He seemed to be having a little trouble in the, in the centre part because he was losing a lot of time in the centre, but he seems to be OK. But a very good uh, two runs there from Vaughan Cox, the first New Zealand competitor in the final of the men's tricks here at the first ever World Barefoot Water Ski Championships. Coming into the course proper, now Richard Fasander from New Zealand. He did a very good uh, teeth hold there. Yes, he's doing tumble turns here. It's a wee bit of trouble. He's doing some more. There's a reverse. 180 degree tumble turn. Now for another 180 degree tumble. His tumble's a good scoring point. For probably a one foot, two one foot as he skis out of the end of his 22nd course. Yes, an excellent uh, first run there from Richard Fasanda of uh, New Zealand. Making his arrival now at the first ever World Barefoot Water Ski Championships here in Canberra, the Governor General, Sir Zelman Khan. He'll be making his way very, very shortly to the VIP area, and he'll be making the presentations to the various competitors from the 11 nations who have competed here at these first ever championships. The Governor General just stepping from his car at the moment and then making his way to the VIP area where he'll be watching the remaining competition during this afternoon, just being greeted now by the official party and then he'll be moving on to the VIP area to watch the concluding stages now of the championships here on the Malongolo River in Canberra. Richard Fysandia now coming back for his second run. Richard from New Zealand. Uh, yes, he's turned. He's going to do a reverse run in for his second run. Greg? He's turning around on his ski. He's around backwards. Waving the boat up there. Boat, boat, builds, boat speed builds up. He steps off his ski. Uh, one foot. One foot reverse. Very quick tricks. A rope and toe. He recovers well. Going for a rope and toe reverse. Oh, he's had a bad fall. Lost it again. He's just recovering from that trick. And I don't think uh, he's very happy, but he's uh, indicated that all is well. He's quite okay. Richard Fysandia from New Zealand, the second competitor from New Zealand. Right, with me is Guy. Spelled Duran Guy, 19 years of age, all the way from Belgium. Yeah. How were you uh, feeling about your run then in the trips? Uh, it was in the beginning. The, my first uh, run was not so good. I missed uh, my second rope on two and uh, the, the, the rest was good. The rest was good. We noticed you missed the uh, 180 turn at the very end there and lost yeah. the rope. Never mind, mate. You're enjoying the sunshine here, a yeah. beautiful Australian day. You have your father with you. Very lucky. Welcome, sir. Okay. He's very lucky. I'm not so. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Guy spelled Durant from Belgium. Thank you, Guy. From New Zealand, the second competitor, John Matthews, now coming to the course proper. Greg. Yes, he's in a forward position there with his hands on the trick bar, in for a rope on neck, a rope on neck one foot, a rope on neck one foot reverse, in for some teeth, teeth, teeth one foot, teeth one foot reverse, going down for some tumble turns, 360 tumble turn, 360 reverse tumble turn, he's down for 180 degree tumble turn, 180 degree tumble turn reverse, yes he's up, going for 
be a rope on tow there. Probably a rope on tow reverse, very difficult to see in this bay. Well, I think he'd be very, very happy with that run. Almost faultless all the way through, complete yes, trick uh, run. Very, very, very good. From John Matthews from New Zealand, his first run. He'll be coming back for his second in just a moment. Well, John must have been very happy with that first run. He's now entering the course uh, once again for his second run. John Matthews from New Zealand. Uh, will he try a reverse? I think he's turning that way now. Greg? Yes, he's turning around on his ski there. Inside the wash at the moment. He's put one foot in the water. Moving outside the wash. He's waving the boat up for more speed. Just about to step off his ski here. As he loses the ski, he's oh, he's had a bad fall. He's hanging on with one hand. Might be able to tumble out of this to start his trick run again. He comes up, he's on his feet, he wanted to go backwards in this run but had a bad fall. He's up for a rope on toe. He's up for a rope on toe reverse, scoring not as many points as he would like to in this run. And these times run out there. But even so, he, uh, he made a good recovery from, oh. from the fall and to complete his second run. John Matthews from New Zealand. Next up, Greg Rees from Australia. Greg's coming to the course on the forward position, stepping off, doing rope in teeth. Rope in teeth, one foot. And a one foot reverse. Goes for rope on neck. One foot. One foot reverse. Going out for tumble turn. Down for tumble turn reverse. That's 360 tumbles. Down for 180 degree tumble turn. 180 degree tumble turn reverse. Be up trying for some rope on toes. He goes for rope on toe. And up for a reverse rope on toe. He's skiing out the course with a one foot and one foot reverse. Well, that was, you can hear the crowd, that was an excellent first run from Greg Rees, the first Australian competitor in the final of the men's tricks. One of the previous competitors that uh, we had in the men's trick final from New Zealand was Vaughan Cox, and he's now speaking with Ian Turpey. Right, thanks Frank. Vaughan, happy enough with your run? Yes, thanks Ian, yes, I've been really happy with it. It's about the, the problem of the best I've ever done, and um, couldn't ask for much more than that. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Can you describe some of the tricks to us that you were, you were performing in that particular one? Or what's your best trick? Well, the, one of the most difficult tricks I do is the backwards toe reverse, yeah. and um, lately I've missed one or two of those, but today I went out and did it, and that, was, that was what the coach wanted. Yeah, I'll bet he did. Yeah. Right. So I'm wrapped about that. Well, we hope uh, you're looking forward to second place in this, I believe, the New Zealand team? Yep, I yeah. hope so, yeah. Well, we wish you all the very best. Thanks Vaughan Cox from New Zealand. Thanks, Vaughan. From Queensland, Australia, Greg Rees is now coming back for his uh, second run in the men's tricks final, and it's going to be a reverse run for Greg, second time round. He's got himself positioned well. Yes, Greg's um, already waved up the boat at speed. He's about to step off here to start his run. First quick very trick clean. on one foot, one foot reverse. A rope on toe. There's a rope on toe reverse backwards, very steady. Coming for a 180 degree turn here. Yes, a 180 degree turn. Go for a forwards rope on toe here. Oh, he's had a fall here. Very, very close. Very, very close, but a beautiful run, nevertheless, for Greg Rees of Australia, the first Australian competitor. Staggering out of the water, Greg, after a beautiful one and a half front somersault. How do you feel? Oh, not too bad, actually. Didn't hurt a great deal. No? no. I noticed you're rubbing your hands there a little bit. Yeah. Did you, uh, that, I suppose that rope really tugs its way out. I oh, see so yeah. you've cut it, yeah. Yeah, I cut it. Yeah, I cut it on the fall. Really? Yeah. What, just hitting the water? Oh, no, I think it's hit something on the handle, actually. Oh, well, you were, you were doing famously up until then. You'd, you'd yeah. done some amazing tricks. You came in backwards this time. The yeah. 180 was perfect. Yeah, wasn't it? It was a good 180. And uh, all you were trying to do was the... Uh, the right. rope toe. toe, toe oh, rope. I was going for a toe 180, actually. Yeah. yeah oh, I rushed it. Yeah. Rushed it a bit too much. Leave well, it there, Ian, because mate. Mike right. uh, Body from the USA is just about to come into the course proper to make his first run. He's doing a reverse first in Greg. Yes, Mike's coming in backwards first off this time. He's on his two feet there. Very clean one entry. Foot, one foot reverse, straight into a rope on toe. Very quick here. So it's 180 without the rope on toe reverse. Down, falling low speeds, going for front to back, 180. Yes, very neat there. Going for another 180. Oh, very well. Just behind the spray, he's going to cost the wash. Looks like he's doing some tumble turns. He's skiing out the course there. A very good run there from Mike. Yes, a very good run. Those reverses were, were perfect. Now coming in for his second run from the USA, Mike Botti, and is he going to do a reverse, Greg? No, he looks like he's coming in forwards here. He's uh, on his feet there. 
He's going for rope in teeth. One foot, one foot reverse. Down for some tumble turns. A 360 tumble, a 360 tumble turn reverse. Or a 180 degree tumble turn. And a 180 degree tumble turn reverse. He's calling down for speed. So got another front to back coming up. Yes, yeah, front to back. Oh, tried a 360 it. degree turn there. It fell off. But still a very good run. Oh, yes. The second USA contender in the men's tricks final and a very, getting a very big round of applause from the crowd here at the finals for the men's trick final. Mike Body from the USA. Mike Body from the USA just getting out of the water and uh, he had a beautiful finish. He's just being congratulated by his team captain, Ian Turpy. Yeah, Mike, you just missed out on the big 360 there. Yes, sir. Uh, I didn't learn it too long ago and uh, I've hit a couple of them. And I was just hoping I can hit it here, but it doesn't matter. Almost. Yes, sir. We've got uh, your team captain here. Both smiling very broadly here. An excellent run. Thank you. And a much. pity that you just failed on that very last trick. Would have been a beauty. Thank you. Right. How do you, how do you feel about this, Bill? Tremendous run. Yeah. Ian, we'll Tremendous leave you there run. because we have Greg Adams from Australia coming in onto yeah. the course but proper got, for his first a, run. One of the best runs that I've seen. Greg Adams from Australia, from New South Wales, from the Central Coast, actually. Uh, the next competitor on, he's getting himself set. Yes. Steps in, Greg. He's into the uh, forward trick front with three necks. Uh, he's open teeth. Tooth one foot, tooth one foot reverse. He's going in for a rope and toe there. Going for rope and toe reverse there. Go down for some tumble turns. A 360 tumble turn. A 360 tumble turn reverse. He's up for a 180 tumble turn. Down for another 180 tumble turn reverse. Down for a couple of one foots there. And he's squeezed out of the court. Spray's a bit um, hard to see there. Well, I think Greg will be very happy with that first run. Oh, definitely. He's, um, he had a crowd are very happy. Points. It's about 800 points there. It's a bit hard for us to see how much that uh, Greg scored, or for that matter, each of the skiers, because the judges are in the boat towing the skier. Greg Adams now making his uh, second run. Greg stepping off. He's had to be one foot. One foot reverse. Yes, he's over that rope and he's standing up. And he's going to put the rack here. Oh, Mr. Bad. But what a beautiful step over. Oh, definitely. Very well. Right. Okay. Very and uh, Greg's scoring very well, although he's not too happy with that final fall. And now making a rerun for his second run is Mike Seeple from the USA. Apparently had a bit of trouble with the uh, speed of the boat on his second run, so he's now doing a rerun of his second run. Greg? Yes, he's um, turned around on his ski backwards. He's inside the wake. He's got one foot in the water, and uh, he's about to step off here. He's on his feet. He's looking for a one foot here. No, a 180 degree turn there. He's going in for some tumble turns, a 180 tumble turn, a 180 reverse tumble turn, down for 360 degree tumble turn. Turn. The 360 degree tumble turn reverse. He's standing up. He's up for one foot and one foot reverse. Going for a rope on toe here. A rope on toe. Probably a rope on toe reverse here. He's going for a rope in teeth there and his time's running out as he skis out of the course. Well, I think he'll be very happy with that uh, second rerun. Yes. Mike Siepel from the USA having a rerun because of uh, speed deficiency on his first second run, so uh, he'll be very happy with that second one. Mike. Paul Jones from Australia, in fact from Sydney, and uh, he's representing the New South Wales team coming in now for his first run. A reverse first time round, Greg? Yes, Paul's coming in backwards first here. It's very quick trick at this guy. One foot, a one foot reverse, going in for a rope on toe backwards. He covers well, he goes for a rope on toe reverse. He's coming for a 180 degree turn there. Paul's going in straight into tumble turns, 360 tumble turns, a 180 degree tumble turn, and a 180 degree tumble turn reverse. Rope on toe there. And coming in for rope on toe reverse, he just skis out of the course. He's a very very quick tricker, isn't he? Oh, definitely. Paul Jones from Australia, now coming in for his second run. He made a very, very uh, spectacular first run. He's doing a reverse second time again, Greg? Yes, he's coming in backwards. He'll probably do a line step over and then go into forward tricks. He's reaching down, he grabs so the bar between is. his legs, he stands up. Bit of a trouble there, but now he's going into some forward neck tricks. So a rope on neck, and a neck one foot, neck one foot reverse. Rope in teeth, teeth one foot, teeth one foot reverse. Going in a rope on toe, we could try a line 180 on, toe 180 on the end of this one. Now he's going knees to feet and a bad fall. But he's quite okay. Paul Jones, a very good second run from Australia in the men's tricks final. One of the earlier members from the men's tricks final round, John Matthews from New Zealand with Ian Turpey. Thank you, Frank. Well, 
John, Dr. John, may I call you John? Yes. Certainly. Out of business hours. Uh, your first run was a boomer, yes. wasn't it? Then yes. I think the Governor General arrived and may have upset things a little bit. Yes, well, I uh, fell early on in the second run, managed to hang on and leave it there, end because Brett Wing is now coming in for Australia. Right. We'll be back in a sec, John. We're just looking at uh, Brett Wing. Coming forward here. Three decks. Right by neck. Neck one foot. Neck one foot reverse. Some tumble turns, a 180 degree tumble turn, 180 degree tumble turn reverse, 360 tumble turn, very quick, 360 reverse, uh, for one foot, one foot reverse, uh, rope on toe, rope on toe reverse, do a toe 180 here, a rope on toe 180, oh, up, he's done again, he's stand up again, it's very good, and a reverse, and a very good oh, trick right there. Good heavens! Greg, you almost finished up a race caller on that one because that was the quickest tricking I've ever seen done. That was Brett Wing from Australia, his first run, and uh, everyone was very, very happy. The crowd was jumping with Brett's first uh, first run. But uh, while Brett's recovering from that run and the boat getting back with his uh, second run, let's go back now to Ian Turpey speaking with Dr John Matthews from New Zealand. Right, Dr John, you've just witnessed uh, Brett Wing's phenomenal run then. What did you think of that? Oh, it was tremendous. Yeah. Very pretty, very clean and very fast. Right, well, uh, I was speaking before to, he says, one of your teammates, Vaughan Cox. Yes. I think it was, and uh, you'll be quite happy with second place in this uh, the world's first uh, championships for barefoot skiing. Well, mate, we're going to sit back and watch Brett Wing's second run. That's right. Well, that was an ex exceptionally good first run for Brett, but uh, he's going to really go out to get some points for this second run. He's made the reverse coming into the course proper, Greg. Yes, he's coming back. He's turned around on his ski, just about to wave the boat up to about uh, 35 mile an hour here. It's a one foot, a one foot reverse, a backwards rope on toe. It's a backwards rope on toe reverse coming up. This comes a 180 degree turn. It comes a front to back turn. A one, oh, and he's fallen. You know, Brett's had a bit of a bad luck there. A yeah. fall there. But still getting a, a very big ovation from the crowd. His first one was excellent. Uh, but unfortunately, Brett took a tumble. Brett was the uh, fourth competitor for Australia in the final of the men's tricks. John Stecklenberg, the final competitor in the men's tricks from Australia, making his uh, entry into the course proper now, Greg. Yes, he's coming in backwards. There's a step off his ski. There's a one foot, a one foot reverse. So a rope on toe. Very quick. Rope on toe reverse. A bit low in the water. Recovers from that. Does a 180 degree turn there. Very quickly. Forwards now. He try out front to back. He's backwards. Going for a line step over. He gets that well. Going for front to back reverse. Yes, I think he got that one there. He's skiing. Oh, and he's had a very good trick on there, Johnny Stecklenberg. He's taken the tumble, but he's quite okay. I might add that uh, John's first run in the preliminary round scored him 2,105 points, so uh, he's the leader, but uh, we're in the final now, but I think John has got a very, very good first run. We'll see his second run in just a moment. Two, one, two foot to backs. John Stecklenberg, the final competitor in the men's tricks from Australia, coming into the course proper now. And Greg, what's he going to do? Forwards. He's waving up the boat speed up to around 43 mile an hour. He could have a good chance of taking off the world title here in tricks. He's stepping off. He's a rope on neck. A neck one foot. Neck one foot reverse. Very quick. Rope and tees. Tees one foot. Tees one foot reverse. He's going to some 360 tumble turns. 360 reverse. A 180 degree tumble turn. He's going out for a 180 degree tumble turn reverse. We're doing a rope on toe here. He's going in for a rope on toe. We're doing a toe 180 here. Oh, missed that toe 180. A very good run. He's quite happy. John Stecklenberg from Australia, and uh, the crowd certainly appreciating two magnificent runs from uh, the leader at this particular point in time. We'll have his final points a little later, but John Stecklenberg from Australia, the final competitor in the men's tricks. But a gentleman who had uh, a pretty successful and not so successful run, Brett Wing, now talking with Ian Turpey. Thank you, Frank. Well, Brett, you've just watched John uh, Stecklenberg's run. What do you think? Uh, he'll take out the tricks. He'll be the world trick champion with that. Is that right? Yeah. Were you a bit disappointed in your second run? Extremely disappointed. Uh, all my practice for the last, say, 12 months, I don't think I've missed that trick uh, all the time. And in the eliminations, I missed it, and in the finals, I missed it. So, obviously, I've got something wrong with that that I'm going to have to iron out. Right. Well, you've got plenty of time. You're only a young man. Hey? Yeah, it's Perhaps right. uh, next year or the year after in the States, you might be able to pull off uh, a clean sweep. What do you think? Yeah, I should be able to. I did it last year, a whole year ago. Well, mate, congratulations anyway for a fantastic exhibition of skiing. Uh, Brett Wing. Thanks a lot. Somersault, long beach start off the front team.
Feeds the rope out, gets ready to go. Waits for that rope to come tight. Now there he goes with that backward somersault. He's gone down to the bottom. He's gone up off the bottom. He's laid his skinny on down his chest. Here she goes. Yeah, I'm saying Legs up. Colleen Wilkinson, we think. On her stomach now. The boat's picking up speed. Speed are going now. Very shortly. There they go. Feet are in. The perfect start. And what do we call that one, Greg? A uh, backwards two foot stand up. A backwards two foot stand up. We're not sure who it was. Do you reckon that was Colleen? That's Colleen. Definitely. Colleen Wilkinson. Gillian Ship. Yep, that's Gillian. She's doing a forwards tumble turn start. A forwards tumble turn start. Yep. Done perfectly. A good one? Yep, that's a beautiful one. Well, there we are, Gillian, Gillian Ship doing a forwards tumble turn start and doing it absolutely perfectly. And do all these uh, types of starts, Greg, gain them more or less points? Uh, they all gain them more points for the trophy or whatever they're going for. Each the one's worth a different amount of points. Yeah, the type of starts. Which is the most difficult? Uh, the backward starts are the most difficult. Yeah. A one-foot stand-up start. This will be absolutely amazing. Only 12 years old. The youngest competitor in these, the first world championship barefoot skiing titles and here she goes Robin McCaskill into the water the one foot's down and now Greg what's, what's she doing now? She's now crossing outside the wash and she'll be waiting for speed to build up She's up Perfect, absolutely perfect. Bronwyn McCaskill, only 12 years old. Completing a beautiful start. Two of the girls doing a stand-up start barefoot. Well, I can see the two girls at the moment, but I can't uh, tell who they are, of course. Building up to, uh, well, obviously, there are two of the girls in the Australian team. Uh, Gillian Ship and Colleen Wilkinson. Colleen Wilkinson's on the right-hand side. Uh, that's looking at the back of the boat. Right, Australian champion Brett Wing in the water for his starts and uh, just so happens we have his brother here, Robert Wing. Robert? Thank you. Uh, well, uh, no doubt by now he's given all the instructions to uh, the boat driver because uh, it's pretty important that the boat driver knows exactly uh, what way the skier wants uh, to accelerate up to speed and what the top speed has to be. But he's uh, pulled out of the water with rope on one foot and the other foot uh, hanging free and uh, he moves out of the wake, the boat speed will move up, he places one foot in the water and comes up to a rope on toe forward barefoot skiing position. Yes. And up he comes in a rope on toe on 80 front to back and yes. back round to the front and up he comes. Fantastic. He's doing a few more, they're all uh, rope on toe on 80 degree turns all the way down the course. Magnificent, Brett Wing, Australian uh, champion. At the Secretariat's office. Right, Brett Wing now with the second of his starts. 